hi i'm very upset right now not because i'm reviewing the movie i recorded this video just now and i and i and all of a sudden it skipped turns out i did not actually record it now i gotta redo it all over again so here it is Halloween Resurrection. You guess it, I'm gonna review it. And yes, I did get a haircut. Now, as you know. <laughs> you know, at the end, you know, Trevor Curtis chopped off Michael's head. So, I, you know, but apparently. The, story, the movie begins with Kerr, with Jimmy Curtis has been in this asylum that apparently in this film when she chopped off Michael's head she didn't chop off Michael's head it was a paramedic that Michael Myers crushed his throat and switched clothes and made him look like him unrealistic he can't how can a human being survive being Putting through a windshield, falling off the balcony, and still being alive, getting getting from a flagpole, able to free go on the front of the stay on the front of the car. What when he got out of the body bag, he just freaking lunged after her. He survived being getting stabbed. How? How did that work? Now, when I originally recorded this, I was, you know, nice on it, but I freaking forgot to record, so that's now why I'm upset. If, if, I, if, I, if it was recorded, would have been uploaded without a problem, but yeah, so, yeah. So, Michael goes in the asylum, kills two guards, then the worst part of the entire film, kills off. Jim Curtis. What is that? You killed off the only likable character in this movie. That's true. And oh wait, there's some but no. It is not. They friggin' They killed off the only likable character in this film. The only Likeable character, and even likeable character in the last film she was in, even in Halloween and Halloween 2. Decided 78 and 81. Something I hate about the Halloween franchise is like. Um, it's like, hey, do you know Halloween? You're like, yeah, Halloween, yeah, the one that Rob Zombie made, yeah, the one that it came out in 2007. Or hey, hey, play do you, do you know Halloween too? Yeah, Halloween too. It came out in 2009, directed by Rob Zombie. What kind of thing is that? What? Yeah, but I'm getting off topic. Yeah, but. This film was an unneeded movie. It needs to be made. It, it, I'd rather watch five or six. I'd rather watch five and six over this. This film. It's one of the worst Halloween films ever made. I'm gonna go kind of short on this because I'm upset. I might do a re-review some other time so I can go a little nicer on it and talk longer about this. But there's a show that is online. It's called Entertainment by uh, it made by Freddie, played by Buster Rhymes and Tyra Banks. this so they go in the house the house don't even look like the one from the first film 
Only five failed, and this one failed. Uh, this is the worst. It's not done yet. Where? What? Why did they recreate? Daystro was the perfect ending, at least in my opinion. Or he confronted her monster, or at least with a lot of Yes, he did. But she confronted her monster, went after the thing that she was afraid of for so many years, then freaking killing him, chopping off the head of the monster that she was afraid of. How great is that? See how it was, it was actually unexpecting a little bit. See, at the time it was. This film just ruined it. It ruined what H2O did. And if you like this film, alright, it's fine. Go ahead and like this film. Go there. Just li like the film. I don't care about anyone who, who likes it. I don't care about your opinion. If you liked it, that's fine. But this film, in my opinion, is the worst idea for a sequel. One of the why this was made, it was a cash cow. It, they did it because of money. They wanted to be stupid, make money, so what they do, they did a sequel to a film franchise that already has been ended. <clears throat> you know what it says over here? Terrifying. It's not terrifying. When I was fun, I'm like, no, it's not. Smart, scary, no. Surprisingly fun, no. Really, they really. In Soul was a much better film. Halloween 5 is a much better film. Halloween 3 is a much better film. And Halloween 6 is a much better film. This is the second worst Halloween film ever made. Why second? Because there's another one that's far worse. And it's even worse than Rob Zombie's H1. And that's going to be the next review. That's going to be the next review that I'm going to do. But really, it has this film has so much problems. Killed off a likable character seems to scream like it seems to don't even seem scary it's not scary it's not like the original they said they tr or did they try to hold up to the original and there's a guy right here Jesus this guy right here gets killed but he gets to kill the same way Bob got killed in a way in the first film well I gotta get your hook They has a lot of problems. I'm not even going to talk about them. But this film was just made because of money. They wanted money, so what did they do? They recreate, they did a sequel. Come on. Really? Don't do that. Then in one part where Sarah it's this I mean there actually is some nice kill scenes, but that's one of the only things good about this film. And the mask is alright. I like it, not my favorite. 
but she gets this chainsaw and she cuts her wires and all of a sudden the house catches on fire. Freaking the whole place is on fire. She's about to get killed. Freaking Buster Rhymes comes out, does the best line. Before earlier, Reagan, Michael Myers gets owned. He got owned freaking a lot of films. He got owned by Paul Rudd in this film by getting hit with a pipe. He got freaking. He got pretty much a lot. He Marion was winning against Michael Myers by fighting back. My camera. Her phone. In this film, she was fighting back. In this film, he gets karate kicked out of a window by a rapper. That's the worst way you can... This film is worse than five and six. It is. And plus, this is the director of this director was Rick Rosenthal, the same guy who directed Halloween 2. Sure, thinking, how did this movie even fail? If it was directed by Rick Rosenthal, you think it would be good because he did Halloween 2 and that film was good. Second film is way better than this film. So, this was just made for money. Really. This was movie was just made for money. That's going to be the description. This movie was only made for money. There's some good things about it. The mask. The mask is nice. Well, not nice. It's just, the mask is good. Uh, kill some nice kill scenes. Other than that, but... There's the last problem I have to talk about is where they got saved and at the very end they they open up the body bag. They open up the body bag and they open it up. I don't know what I'm saying all They open up the body body bag. My phone to the dies and the movie. So that kind of led up to a sequel, but there is no Halloween 9, well, at least there might be a Halloween 9, but Rob Rambo, Rap for Life, said there is no Halloween 9, because there's, uh, yeah, because there's a remake, there's a sequel to a remake, there's, there's a sequel that's going to be to the remake, and not this. We don't know about this recalibration, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's Halloween 9, and there's a lot of people saying, oh, it's just going to be another remake. But I think it probably will be Halloween 9, because think about it. They say it's not a remake. Then why are you saying it? If it was a remake, why don't you, would you, would you say it's a remake? But if it was a reboot, would you say it's a reboot? No. So yeah, yeah, get it off topic, but back to Halloween Resurrection. I Me, mean, not a good film. Very bad, terrible film. Unneeded film. Terrible story. Terrible movie. This film is the second worst Halloween film in the series. Because there's a film that I'm going to review. There's going to be another film that I'm going to review. Which is far worse than this. But yeah, that's it. I give this film a 2 out of 10. So yeah. Bye. Hopefully it ends this time. Let's see.